Today's football hospitality was at the Orange Velodrome, home of Marseille. Sunny day in the south of France and we arrived at the stadium around two and a half hours before kickoff, so there was enough time to check out the club shop. And some background on Olympique de Marseille. They're the only French team to have won the Champions League and they've also won nine Ligue 1 titles. Continuing into the club shop, which is huge, we did have a quick look around. And you know the draw by now. Let us know your thoughts on the home shirt. Back outside and with just over two hours to go until kickoff, it was getting pretty lively in front of the stadium. The Marseille fans were in good voice and definitely ready for the match versus Angers. So without further ado, we made our way to the hospitality entrance where our tickets were checked on entry. Then there was lift access upstairs to the front of the Orange Velodrome. A really impressive 67,000 seater stadium and a bit more on the interior later on. First up, hospitality opened two hours before kickoff. So we made our way to gate two, where it was down the blue carpet. Inside, we scanned our e-tickets at the turnstiles. There was a great welcome from a member of staff who gave us a hospitality wristband and for a bit later on, a score prediction card. For today's hospitality, we were inside La Table de Legions and there was escalator access upstairs. And a nice touch as you're making your way up. There are nods to former players and club legends. At the top of the escalators, another great welcome from staff who also give you a welcome drink. And you do receive a gift when you leave. Make sure you stick around for that. But for now, it was through the huge pitch-facing lounge where we were shown to our allocated table. We were on a shared table and this was a nice touch. Also waiting at the table was a menu program, which also doubled up as a player poster. After getting settled, we then made our way up to one of the many food stations and it's a case of helping yourself. Grabbed a plate and started with some bread, cured meats, and a selection of cheeses. The charcuterie looked really good and so did the small seafood dishes. Back to the table to drop off the food, then time for a drink. And inside the lounge, there were a couple of open bars which did serve drinks all evening. Enjoyed our starters with a drink, then it was up to try out one of the many activities inside the lounge. First up, a virtual photo with Marseille players. We do get closer to the players a bit later on, but for now, time to check out some more food. For our second course, we went for some pasta with some parmesan, and this was really tasty as well. By this point, there was just over an hour to go until kickoff and the stadium was filling up. And inside the lounge, it does get quite busy, so our recommendation would be to make sure you get your food early on. Before having our third course, we thought we'd have a go at the score prediction competition. No luck this time. However, competition winners did win a shirt. Also inside the lounge, there was a chance to hear from some former players with a few talks. Otherwise, it was up to another food station to try out something else. And for our third course, we went for salmon with aubergine in a tomato sauce. And this was very good as well. Hopefully you're still hungry later on because there are cakes and fruits brought into the lounge. And make sure you head up early because they do go quickly. And gotta say the food was a definite highlight of the evening. Then with about 25 minutes to go until kickoff, there was a special invite only experience for VIPs. Along with a group of around 15 other people, we made our way down some steps inside the stadium and onto the side of the pitch. A great opportunity to get close to the pitch and watch the players warming up. And as well as the players warming up, we did spot this seat. Unfortunately, it wasn't padded. And just like in front of the stadium, great noise coming from the Marseille fans. And the experience on the side of the pitch lasted for around 10 minutes, so plenty of time to take enough photos. 
Then with kickoff fast approaching, it was back upstairs. And with about 10 minutes to go until kickoff, there was direct access from the lounge, through these doors and onto a private balcony area. But we didn't come here to stand, so it was along the balcony and to an allocated padded seat, ready for the start of the match with a drink. Tickets are from 290 euros plus VAT, and this was for the 22-23 season. Amazing atmosphere inside the stadium throughout the match, and despite conceding an early goal, Marseille did win 3-1. A big thank you to Marseille for the invite and for some fantastic hospitality. And an hour or so after kickoff, it was downstairs to collect our gift. Where should we go for the next padded seat?